What is up YouTube, Skiz1 here, and today I have a review for you of the Sakura Solid Marker. So of course, as always, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the product, then we're going to be taking it out to our surface testing area where we're going to test it on rust, metal, wood, and painted cardboard. Before I get into that, I do want to mention that if you want to see a review of this product, a very new product, the Molotow Scrawl Stick, you can click the link in the top right corner to that as well as I'll link you to a comparison I did of every solid paint stick on the market. Very good video to check out if you're interested in that. So this marker usually sells for between three and five dollars. Not a very badly priced marker for its apparent quality. I will link you to uh, the cheapest price I found in the description and you can buy it from there if you're interested. This marker does come in 11 colors, which are very vibrant, and it boasts that they can be used in very high temperatures specifically. It doesn't put as much of an emphasis on how permanent the product is. It does say that it is waterproof, although it does say right on the product that it can be washed off with alcohols. The tip here comes with a protective cap, and this is by far the softest solid paint stick I have ever felt. It's also the shiniest, as you can see on camera. As far as this goes, it's even smoother than writing with butter, I would say. That's how soft this truly is. So we are going to head out to our testing area, give this a surface test, test for opacity, that sort of thing. So let's get started. So we're outside here by our testing area. What we're going to do is we're going to test this out on black, specifically because this color is white. What we're going to do is see First, how smoothly it writes on a surface that's already smooth, such as this smooth painted cardboard. After that, we have some wood to try it out on. Then we're going to see how it performs on rust just for fun. Remember to remove your safety thing here. First thoughts, it's very, very smooth. I'm really, really enjoying that. You can see the white without even bringing the camera closer, but I will anyway. You can see the white is super vibrant on a black surface. I'm really interested in this formula because it has sort of like gummy bits coming up off of it. Very interesting how that is reacting, but I couldn't be happier writing with this. Very smooth, you can get curves in your lines. You can make straight jagged lines. Uh, you can get a little bit of variation too with your line thickness. I've dressed this up horribly like, just to try some lines out, but um, yeah, really, really fun writing with this. So next we're going to see how this is on wood. I'm sure it's going to be fine. If it's fine on a smooth surface, a rough surface is only going to help it, but just for fun, let's see. I don't know if you can see writing, but there's just like little webs that come off of this when, when you write with it. It's just such a sticky sort of formula that as soon as you take the tip off of the surface, you just get these webs that attach to it. It's almost like when you pick a pizza slice up out of a pizza. It does make it a little messy, but th that's just how you can tell how smooth the formula is. Let's just lay down something else just for fun here. Time for a little twist up here. The twist system is very tough. You gotta put a bit of muscle into it, but that's okay. Seeing how smooth this is is really impressive and how shiny the formula is. But writing on wood, as you can see, beautiful opacity. Really happy with this. It really does feel almost like you're writing with butter. A little stickier, but you do feel like you have enough control that you can lay down any style you want. You're not restricted to the jagged lines that you're restricted to with a lot of other paint sticks. I'm really enjoying the variation you can get in line thickness, like this compared to here. Let's test it out on maybe a brick just for fun, see what it does on rust as well. 
All right, so while we're at it, just to see what it does on a brick, you can see it's applying very beautifully. I'm not pressing particularly hard here, but you can tell you're getting very consistent lines, and this is a very beautiful formula to work with, in my opinion. The rust is really only helping it. It's not hurting it at all. You can see I got beautiful control getting uh, curved lines, as I was mentioning before. But overall, I could not be more impressed with this product. You guys know if you've watched any of my other reviews, I'm always very honest. I've given some negative reviews to some solid paint sticks specifically, actually. But this, it's really nice. I'm loving it. The price, not too bad. If you really do want to write with something high quality, but don't want to pay too too much you don't have to pay a ton for this and to me it is worth it i might pick it up over uh, some mark Bs in the future and i'm always on the cheaper side of things so that's saying a lot if you guys have used this i know it's a fairly old product let me know what you guys have thought of it in the comments you'll help some other people out too if you enjoyed the video consider subscribing until my next one peace